to is that your hair if you are new here make sure you tap that subscribe button hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos and if you've been rocking with me for a minute what's up what's good and welcome back hey y'all i'm back again i feel like ugh, 2021 just keeps starting over and over and over for your girl like literally i took a break for two months and i came back then i went away to new york then i came back and now i am here but you know what the trip home was much needed i was very happy to be with my family and friends so i'm back and ready to work okay even though it's almost may <laughs> all right y'all so we're gonna dive right into this unit here by sensational and this is a new unit by sensational it's from their butter lace line and this is butter lace straight 32. i'm sure a lot of you have heard of this unit by now the main feature of this unit is that it is a human hair blend which means there is premium synthetic fibers mixed in with human hair fibers in this unit shout outs to the stock card model because my god she looks stunning in this photo look at her she's so bad Bears, they have listed here all the different claims virtual undetectable lace full body movement ear to ear lace natural density pre-plugged hairline and a five inch part that goes back to like right here this unit does come with your typical cap construction with your two combs in the front a comb in the back with adjustable straps as i run my fingers through this i would say this is a like a yakky light yakky texture definitely feel the weight in the hair and i'm sure that's coming from the human hair fibers as well now this unit is very long on me i am five foot three so this 32 inches whoo y'all let me can i back up this is how long this unit is on me okay so it's definitely giving me tailbone length tees i'll give you a quick 360 and we'll dive right into my thoughts All right, y'all, so let's dive into the pros. I would say first pro is the texture of the hair. It feels very soft and very smooth. I can tell that there are some human hair fibers in here. As far as how similar it feels to human hair, uh, I, think it, I think it feels okay, but I'm gonna get more into that later. I also do like the hairline. I think it looks pretty natural. I like the parting space area. It looks very natural as well. And when I got close on the knots, I noticed it didn't look too dark either. So I like how they constructed this wig overall. I think they did a very good job. And of course, I'm glad that I got it in a natural color. That is pretty much where the pros stop for me. With this wig, I found myself getting very frustrated. <laughs> it's mainly due to the length, which for me is a con. Somebody please remind me, remind future Gladys, that you don't do long synthetic wigs anymore. Not long, straight like this. This 32 inches is a little too much for me. If these were braids, cool. I, I could do that. Prefer to be long, straight, hair that is still synthetic in these fibers my god i was like about to have a conniption this is supposed to be a human hair blend but i still experienced tangling and you might have noticed it earlier in the video as i was putting on the wig 
But yeah, that, that surprised me. I wasn't expecting as much tangling as I received out the pack. I did cut into the lace and I cut out the baby hairs, so I did expect shedding. But the shedding just kept going, and that's another con. I, I thought that, I don't know, I just thought it wouldn't be that much shedding. <laughs> and it just continued on and on and on. Even right now, I feel hairs on my legs, and it's really, it's really irritating me. <laughs> yeah, so with the length and mind you of course that's a personal con and the tangling which normally i don't mind tangling but considering this is a human hair blend my expectations were just a tad bit higher as far as the cap i mean for some it might be a con for some it might be a pro i think this cap is maybe medium size because i have a 22.3 circumference head and it's fitting me like just right so if you have a large head you know, this might fit a bit snug on you. Another con is that this is not ear to ear as they claim. So you can see here that the lace is kind of stopping over here and you see my ears over here, right? So not quite ear to ear compared to other companies that I've tried, such as with the Melted Hairline series. I think they are the one company out right now that truly give you an ear to ear hairline, which I can appreciate. I thought about wearing this unit in the middle, but it was definitely giving me like Adam's Family vibes, low-key Wednesday vibes on a Friday, and <laughs> I just wasn't feeling that, so the side will just have to do. But yeah, y'all, I don't know. This one is just okay to me. I do think the price point is decent. This retails for, I think, $45. However, I don't know. This human hair blend is not really the best in my opinion. I've had better, I'll say that. My favorite human hair blend is by Bobby Boss from the Miss Origins series. Oh my goodness. I'll link that video in my description box. Definitely check it out. That has to be the best human hair blend I have tried. And I have only tried maybe three. Two of which are on my channel. And one, I just have the wig by Ziri Sis. They also made a human hair blend wig that I, that I think is pretty good too. Also at a cheaper price point. So yeah, the Bobby Boss wig, at the time, it was a little bit higher, like $55, but that was a year and a half ago, so by now, I'm, I'm sure it's in the 40s, just like this wig. And it's a frontal, so you have a parting space if that's what you're into. So for me, if I was looking for a human hair blend, I would go for the Bobby Boss unit um, over this one. And I was really, really gunning for this one because butter lace, man, like, we, we've had some up and downs. Come on now. What is this? I haven't been anywhere. I haven't been outside. I've just been here, sitting, still. But Lace, we haven't really had a chance to really connect. I didn't like But Lace 1 and 2, and then I just kind of discarded the whole line. But then I noticed that they've had a lot of bomb units come out since then. I have three of them that I haven't even reviewed yet that are just sitting on the shelf that I want to show y'all. But I was hoping that this human hair blend line would be it. But right now, it's, it's just okay. Maybe I would like it better if it was a shorter length, like maybe a 20 inches, and maybe in some type of curl style or body wave or something. I probably would like it better. But in this style here, I, I could do without this. <laughs> I swear, y'all should have seen me in the mirror. I was like, low-key fighting this wig. Because the hairs are just getting all over my legs, and... Look, you know, some things may stress me out like, I don't know, the Instagram algorithm, trying to play catch up on YouTube, but what I'm not going to let stress me out is this synthetic wig. So, <laughs> this has been fun, but I'm ready to take home girl off. <laughs> Let me know how you feel about this unit in the comments down below if you've tried her or if you are going to try her. I do have links to all of the products that I use regularly in my description box, so definitely check it out because it's all very organized. If you're interested in my makeup look, I'll have links down there as well. Honestly, with a wig like this, I would just toss homegirl in a ponytail. Like, let me see. I would probably just do like some type of like side braid action. Let me see, something like this. This to give you guys an idea of like something else that you could do to avoid like dealing with what comes with having a long synthetic wig.
Gladys, what the hell? This braid came out so messy. All right, y'all, later for that. Look, let me know how you feel about this unit in the comments down below. I am going to go, I don't know, get a glass of wine because I'm hot, I'm a little bothered, and this wig, <laughs> yeah, this wig. By the way, quick channel update. I am bringing back $20 Tuesday. I know it's been a minute. Thank y'all so much for your patience, but that'll be back starting next Tuesday. Small Talk Saturday is also coming back starting next Saturday. I'm trying to get back to my schedule, y'all, and it's been a struggle. <laughs> but your girl is still here. That's why you need to follow me on Instagram because I've been consistent on there. I post pretty much almost every day or every other day is that your hair with three r's on instagram check me out on there but of course y'all on youtube y'all are my family and y'all are my favorite don't tell instagram that <laughs> so of course i'm trying to get back to normal with all of you i'm really excited for the month of may because i have a few things lined up that i'm sure y'all will find value in so make sure those notification bells are turned all the way on and if you want to see some of my latest videos check them out over here to the right of me thank y'all so so much for joining me today and i will see y'all in the next video Mwah. bye